face it might yeah, right. draw their interest and eventually to what uh, the platform that they are offering so okay what are you as part of this particular uh, campaign what more are you going to do i mean the face obviously sells but i am looking at in terms of are you going to be a part of some road show or something like that in which they might want to do no no such extensive plans have been made i think yeah. uh, the film that you saw that which no, is I just came a little which, late. Is, which is going to be played out on yeah, the on yeah. the on the right. internet yeah and uh, apart from which uh, i don't think as of now they have any extensive plans maybe for the third edition of it okay okay thank you so much yeah hello sir i have three questions for you first is we have the reports that because of gst implications many people are not keen to buy houses as of now they are waiting for the gst announcement second are you planning anything to tap the seventh pay commission i i mean the government employees to go for this uh, sale process part and third what target you have for the under construction and the ready position properties okay so uh, gst impact is a gray area right now and uh, although gst will be implemented uh, what inputs will a developer be able to take so the if you see a percentage of a project anyway we pay service tax right now so the implication might be maybe a 0.1 to a 0.2% on the service tax that already has been paid because of the inputs uh, on the material can we take it or not so there is a debate going on there i don't think any of the developer can afford to stop his project because of gst or even a buyer will stay back because the discounting happening uh, in this period or let's say people the offers that are in this market i don't think once the inventory levels are at see what we are seeing a very tricky trend in the market with gst and rera and everything coming in new launches will slow down because people uh, the bigger brands especially will uh, try to readjust because real estate is been taken from the most unregulated and unorganized industry and the government has not taken step 1 step 2 and they have taken them to step 10 of regulation which is more than the banking so there is going to be a lot of disruption that will happen uh, in between so actually if you see next year the inventory levels might drop down actually when rera kicks in and gst kicks in because uh, what are the tax implications what are the legal implications what are the risks added because of these so uh, people will play, play a wait and watch game rather than bleeding so uh, these things happening i think buyers must take this into consideration and they are probably aware of it because as i said if even if they go into market to find ready position today there is hardly anything available and the offers like a pre emi and all these things are so good that the savings are good enough there to overlook the gst impact fiasco where ms dhoni was a brand ambassador and then you know the people sort of insisted that because you know there were some problems with the projects and possession and delivery didn't happen and they requested him and he stepped down as a brand ambassador so i know amura obviously they're not developers this is a completely different concept but you know as somebody who's relatively new into real estate uh, endorsements did you have any concerns because there have been issues with celebrity endorsements in the sector in the past so when you decided to be the face of irfs did you have any concerns of that nature or were you completely on board with it see across the board all kinds of endorsements that i undertake uh legally i am not bound by uh, where, where where in which i am answerable for any product that i endorse uh and i think that's quite a well known fact even amongst the people uh what i bring to the table is not any surety of what the product will deliver i am only endorsing the product on the basis of being a celebrity and giving a face value to that product morally if i am endorsing a product and i feel responsible for it and i feel that i should step down as a brand ambassador or do a little more in whichever way i can to uh, safeguard the interests of the people uh, then i possibly would but thankfully uh, such a situation has not uh, come up so far and uh, yeah that's where i stand uh, my next question is for the amora team so i mean 
we've been talking about you know the whole uh, home buying the campaign says ruka to gaya so have you ever had a ruka to gaya moment in your life where you just couldn't take a decision and it just the opportunity got lost and how relevant ruka to gaya is it's a lighter question <laughs> all the time no yeah ab ruka to gaya is relevant every now and then yeah uh you have may have so many uh, situations or opportunities which you might have felt that had i acted upon at that point of time it would have worked out for the better and sometimes not so but yeah all the time yeah Thank my you. question hello hello yeah i want to know like how you safeguard your customers uh when it comes to dispute with the builder developers uh so i would like to say like you are never going to do it based on a technology platform we are an enabler to connect people to bring down the cost eventually all the due diligence uh, has to be done by the customer one more time and uh, the transaction has to be completed only if uh, he is satisfied about what he is getting in